Good afternoon and welcome to our small footprint. My name is Nissa, and if you're new here, we are a family of eight who live off grid in Australia. Every month we have the opportunity to get a food hamper. Uh, it's like a food pantry or um, I think mostly it's called a food pantry in America, but it, we call it a hamper. And every month we have an opportunity to receive one. There is a company in Brisbane, which is where I go for my grocery shop. So it's about four hours away called A4 Community Care and they provide hampers to everyone. You don't have to have a specific income. You don't have to have a, uh, a healthcare card or a pension card or anything else. It is available to everyone who, who wants it. And they do hampers for you to receive. The hampers are, I believe they're $40 in Brisbane, but they're $50 for us because of transportation costs. Uh, and they are available every day, I believe in Brisbane, if you want to travel to the a4 community care center but out here we have a, a family who is wonderful and organizes them for us to receive once a month so peter and lois organize it they go down and collect in a truck or they have a driver go and collect in a truck the hampers and you pre-order them to receive them and they arrive around about every four weeks so we organize they organize it we prepay for them they collect them and we go and collect them from their house the november one was today. Uh, the hampers are always a mixed bag. You don't always know what you're going to get. It's whatever they happen to be receiving. Obviously, as far as I'm aware, they purchase some of the product uh, cheap, some of it's donated, all that sort of thing. So you get what you get and you don't get to pick. Uh, each month they have been getting giant produce bins that we've been able to uh, collect produce with a with a gold coin donation. Uh, this month they had trouble with transport and they couldn't get the, the produce bins. So it was only the standard hamper uh, and they are $50 each. I think I mentioned that, but $50. And they're always well and truly worth more than the $50 that you pay. We are very grateful for the service. Some months it feels like the hampers are a lot less value than other months, but they're always going to be worth more than the $50. Uh, the lack of the fresh produce was a little bit sad this month. It's definitely part of what appeals to me about the hampers. But luckily, this was our grocery week as well. So we have lots of fresh produce because we just did the grocery week. So I have recorded what we got uh, and have it up for you. So here you go. You can take a look at what we got this month. And then I'll come back and have a quick chat about it as well. Alrighty, so in the hamper today, we got a box of avocados. It looks like some of them are a bit far gone, but we will go through them and use what we can. We got a box with some mixed veggies in it. There's some tomatoes, looks like some cucumbers on the bottom here, some carrots, cauliflower, and a red cabbage. We got another box that has some apples and some sweet potatoes in it. A box of U Foods Fueled Peanut Butter High Protein Bites. So some sort of a uh, individually packaged protein bite thing. We got a six pack of the oat milk and a single one. The kids didn't mind this last time, so they will have that. A box of mayo. Uh, one of the kids, a couple of kids don't mind these mayos. They're just a, uh, this one's, Tartare, apparently, not mayo. So, creamy tartare sauce made with free range hot eggs. So, there's a box of those. There is two bags of onion here, slivered onions, which is pretty cool. A container of mullet fillets, so fish, frozen fish fillets, and some frozen chicken drumsticks, and a bag of the pre cooked seasoned omelets, another bag of the uh, meat-free mints that I still haven't done anything with. I did talk to someone about the options to do with it and apparently it makes quite nice sausage rolls so I might have to give that a go. Two packets of the frozen mussels and half a dozen of the pre-made meals. Roast pork it looks like is all of them this time, four of them there. Two packets of chocolate dairy snacks. Now these are going to be actual dairy ones. The kids aren't going to be able to mm. eat them so I'll find something to do with them. Maybe I'll freeze them and I can have them as 
desserts, frozen chocolate pudding desserts or something over the next few months. Uh, we got a packet of fried noodles there, which are nice to put in salads and stuff, so we can give that a go. Four loaves of this Bergen bread and two packets of crackers there. We got a packet of spaghetti and two of popcorn here, as well as a packet of lolly bananas and some of the noodle snacks that the kids quite like. Got some other pasta here, some spirals and some Aussie shaped pasta. The kids will enjoy that at some point. A packet of baby wipes and two different size Ziploc bags there. Some hand soap. There is a whole bunch of these TV snacks biscuits. And then a flying power energy drink, some LCM bars. There is three of these pepperberry drinks. The kids didn't mind those and two pasta sauces there. Uh, another one of the avocado okay. cream and some of the kombucha garlic aioli. There is a packet of mini churros uh, cereal. I haven't seen that before and some soy and linseed crackers as well. So that was the hamper this month. They didn't have the uh, fruit and veggie buckets for us to serve ourselves from this month. Uh, they couldn't transport them. So this was the whole lot for this month. So that was this month's hamper. So, uh, as I said, you don't have to have any special needs to access the hampers. Uh, every month I try and look up if anybody asks for one in the in their area I try and look up what's available in their area there are a few of them I know there's a loaves and fishes in Toowoomba and there's a lighthouse as well as a four community in Brisbane um I think there might be a lighthouse there as well and I have looked up other states and they have similar options so it's definitely worth looking into uh everything's tied at the moment uh, groceries are going up and anything you can do to try and alleviate a bit of stress in relation to the cost of food is worthwhile. So definitely access that if you have the ability to. The other thing to look into is food pantries. If you're in the US, I do watch a few YouTubers. Uh, Sodbuster Living accesses a food pantry regularly. And uh, she has some information about food pantries on her channel as well in America. I can't remember which state she lives in. I'm really horrible with that sort of thing. But... Uh, but she has some information for her state as well as other states. Uh, I have looked, have seen that on her YouTube. So go and have a look for hers if you want some information in the US. Uh, but there is quite a few options in Australia. So very grateful for Peter and Lois for organizing it for out here for the monthly ones. Uh, I prefer it when they land not on grocery weekend uh, because it's beneficial for us to have it like in the week before I go and do groceries. And if I had have done a six week grocery this month, then it would have, I would have been doing groceries next week, but because we did five weeks because of Christmas, it fell a little funny, but that's fine. We appreciate it regardless. And we try and make sure to use everything that arrives. Some of the stuff is hard for us. Uh, there's a lot of dairy in some of it. There's a six little boxes of biscuits that have chocolate in them. Uh, I will eat them, but I really shouldn't, <laughs> but I will because they're there. Uh, luckily I have good self-control with things and I'm not a big eater, so they'll be eaten over a while. So it's not so bad, but there was chocolate custards as well. Uh, I might stick them in the freezer and then I could have them as like a frozen chocolate custard dessert over the next like six months, maybe. I'm not sure, but, uh, things like that, we aren't, aren't as useful in our household, but we do try to make sure that everything gets eaten. And of course we have plenty of animals to uh, consume excess if that's what it takes. Uh, I take the individual meals down to mum normally and put them in her freezer because she lives on her own and she works full time. It gives her a quick option for a meal if she wants to stick it in a microwave or whatever. Or if I'm down there, I can have one at lunchtime if I'm working from home at her place or anything like that. So we definitely try and make sure to use it all. And we've done fairly well so far. So that was this month's hamper. I hope you enjoyed seeing what it is. It's always a little bit of a uh, exciting mystery. And I know that some of you guys really like to see that as well. So there we go. And I will see you again probably tomorrow. I'll try and do my homestead chat video tomorrow morning. It's Saturday at the moment. There's a March fly flying around. So please excuse my jiggling. Uh, 
Saturday at the moment, so I'll try and do my chat video tomorrow and I'll go over. I didn't go over any of my planning before I did my grocery haul because I just didn't get around to it, but I've got my inventory sheets and stuff that I did, so I might go over them tomorrow as well as a discussion of how price increases are impacting us and what the significant price increases were that I found uh, and the missing stuff. There was some stuff that I just couldn't get to. So I will see you then. Otherwise, have a great day, guys.